this is one question taken from workbook. Uh, question number seven. Uh, this is the relation is what we have to prove. Uh, let's write it properly. We can write this like this. I say we can write this as n p r is equal to n minus one p r plus r times n minus one p r minus one. This is what we have to prove it. So what we can do, we can simultaneously uh, expand the LHS and RHS to arrive to the answer. That's possible. So what we can write the LHS as this is n factorial over n minus r whole factorial. On the other side, we can write the RHS as n minus one whole factorial that divided by n minus one minus r whole factorial. Well, needless to say that I here I'm applying this formula that is NPR is N factorial over N minus R whole factorial. Now coming to this sum, this is R times N minus one whole factorial and that is N minus one minus R minus minus one that is plus one, right? This is sign will get changed. Here this get canceled, this RN minus one plus one get cancelled. Continuing with this, it is n factorial over n minus r, the whole factorial is equal to. What I can see that n minus one whole factorial is common. So I can take this as common. This is one over n minus one minus r, the whole factorial plus this is r as n minus one is taken common. This is n minus r whole factorial. Now what you can realize here that uh, it is possible to write uh, n minus r in terms of this. So that is what we'll do in the next step. So I'll take common. So we'll continue with this only that is n factorial over n minus r the whole factorial is equal to this is n minus one whole factorial. As I said, I can write this as this will be n minus r minus one, right? Rearranging them. And I can write this as n minus r minus n minus r into n minus r minus one whole factorial. What I'm doing here is I'm simply writing n factorial in its expanded form as n multiplied by n minus one whole factorial, right? From here on the step. Now, as you can see here, n minus r minus one is common, right? It's there. So we can take this common from the denominator. We'll keep LHS as it is. That is n factorial over n minus r whole factorial is equal to n minus one whole factorial and taking n minus r minus one common. So we'll get inside as simply one over one, right? One over one is left and this is r over n minus r, right? Now the further expansion I'm doing on the other side of the screen. Continuing this, uh, writing n as n minus r whole factorial is equal to n minus one whole factorial and denominator being n minus r minus one whole factorial. And if I take LCM on the other side, the LCM inside the bracket will come as n minus r, and this is n minus r plus r. So we can see that even r and r get canceled. In the final step, this will remain as this. Now what you can see here, this is n minus one. I'm writing n first and then I'm writing this n first and then n minus one. And same way, this is I'm writing n minus r, writing this first and n minus r minus one whole factorial. Now what do you know from your expansion? You know that n factorial is actually n into n minus one whole factorial. We can apply this thing in the reverse order. 
right? And what we can write, I'm talking about the RHS. I can write this as n into n into n minus one whole factorial as n factorial, applying this in the reverse order. So I'm doing the denominator. I can write this whole thing as n minus r the whole factorial, applying the same relation, this one. Now keeping the LHS as it is, this is n factorial over n minus r whole factorial. Now you can clearly see that our LHS is same as the RHS. And this is how this question can be verified.